Hey YouTube, my name is Jax. I've started a series of videos um, for my YouTube channel to document my journey through medical transition from female to male. <clears throat> I uh, started transitioning in June 2016 and have taken various forms of testosterone and am now 11 months on testosterone. Uh, as of the 9th of uh, May, 2017. So I wanted to create some videos to document my transition, also to document some of the aspects of transitioning, um, not just the medical side of things, not just the physical side of things, but also topics surrounding uh, emotional, mental and spiritual changes that have occurred for me um, through this journey. So. Uh, like I said, my name is Jax. I'm 30 years old. I live in Sydney, Australia, and I am a chiropractor by trade. And I also teach anatomy at university, and um, I really enjoy that. I live with my fiance um, and partner of seven years, who's been an amazing support to me during this time from the beginning. And uh, I have a really amazing family, supportive family who live all over Australia. So, so far, uh, in the where I am at right now, at 11 months on testosterone, I am eight and a half weeks out or away from surgery, chest surgery with Dr. Garamani in Florida. And um, so in six and a half weeks, my partner and I will travel to the States for a couple of weeks holiday and then a week of recovery from chest surgery. And so my main focuses at the moment are uh, to work all the time to save money to fund the surgery and also to fund uh, the holiday, like so the travel and accommodation and everything, and also to fund the uh, time that I'll need in recovery. So, because my job is so physical, I will need a lot of downtime, a lot of recovery time. So, it's so weird talking to myself on the camera. So, um, I have to either stare over there or at the camera. And then if I catch myself, I lose my train of thought. So, that's really awkward. <laughs> anyway, seriously, I've never had a conversation with myself. Um, actually, I've probably spent my whole life even avoiding looking at my reflection. So, talking to myself um, is really strange. This is a new experience. Um, I give lectures as well at uni, but I don't look at myself. I look at other people, students and things like that. And so, this is a new experience. But it's going okay. I feel pretty good. Anyway, probably didn't know, probably didn't need to know that. Uh, so, the focuses are financial. And, um, yeah, because I have a manual job, chiropractic, I um, will need a lot of downtime. So I won't be able to perform much manual work, I expect, after having chest surgery. And so I've taken a long time off work, um, seven weeks, inclusive of the three weeks that I'll be overseas. And um, so in my job, because I'm a contractor, a contractor if I don't work, I don't get paid, and I don't accumulate sick leave or annual leave or anything of the sort, so I have to pre-fund myself prior to that, and so I've been doing that since January, and probably should have started a lot earlier, but, um, you know, life. So, uh, yeah, so, but um, as far as I know, budgeting is on track, and while I don't have much space to move, as long as nothing goes wrong, I should be able to make it. If not, I do have amazing people around me who have said, uh, if you need to borrow money, you need to borrow money. Hopefully it doesn't come down to that because my Virgo pride will not cope. Um, but I'm learning to receive help through this process. <clears throat> anyway, other focus leading up to surgery is uh, physical. So I'm trying to prep my body the best I can to get the best outcomes from surgery. So I have employed a nutritionist, Gus Cook, um, from Brisbane, from Lifters League in Brisbane. He's a powerlifter, and he um, 
also is a recomposition expert and he has directed me through a really incredible diet since December and I'm currently in a cutting phase or um, a recomposition phase is probably the best way to put it where I am losing body fat while gaining muscle and what I'm hoping for is that I will have some nice muscular definition around my shoulders and pecs and hopefully shrink my breast tissue down enough so that Dr. Garamoni can see um, my pec margins and things like that. Not that I think he needs it because he I've seen amazing results from him with people with high body fat percentage and low body fat percentage and all sorts of peoples and body shapes and things like that. He's done an incredible job on so I'm not concerned. I think I've done the thing where I like to challenge myself and set goals and things like that and uh, also I think I just want to look fucking amazing after surgery which probably not going to happen uh, following things like general anaesthetic and uh, codeine. But we'll see what happens. You will see what happens to me afterwards. So that's the current um, focus is diet, um, training, training a lot. I usually train as a powerlifter. I'm an avid powerlifter. I love powerlifting. It's a really big part of my life. It's a big hobby of mine. It also keeps my mind on track, keeps my dysphoria manageable, and uh, keeps me in my body which is really important to me. Um, it also makes me feel fucking strong and awesome, and it has transformed my body into a super muscular, fantastic feeling body. Um, so powerlifting is really important to me. Um, however, I've had to switch over to mostly bodybuilding-focused training, which is boring as shit, but it's getting me the results, and it's challenging. It's a new thing that I have to be disciplined for, and I love that shit, so I've taken to it pretty well. And I've seen heaps of really amazing changes already in my physical body um, from doing it over the last four weeks. It's been four weeks since my, my cat is here. Uh, you going to say hi? Yep, come on. This is Howard. This is my one-eyed cat. Say hi. Say hi to YouTube. Mm -hmm. So he has come to disrupt this conversation. But um, anyway, bodybuilding, style training, doing really good things. And hopefully uh, by building my base through bodybuilding, when I do eventually come back to uh, powerlifting, I'll, I'll have um, some good bases to come from. Anyway, uh, so that's the focus at the moment. That's me at the moment. And so I uh, will attempt to put up videos, what, like weekly, maybe, and um, and uh, talk about different parts of this, because I just don't want to risk going for too long. So, see you later.